everyone, welcome back to Where's Wheels Manufactured Home Tours. I am glad you made it today to the 2024 Louisville Manufactured Home Show. Today, we're going to take a tour of this home that you see right here that is built by Commodore of Indiana. And it's really nice inside, so let's get going so I can tell you about it. Thanks for clicking on the video today, everyone, and spending some time with me. I truly appreciate it. We are, of course, at the 2024 Louisville Manufactured Home Show, and we are taking a look at another great home built by Commodore Homes of Indiana. As we take a little peek at the floor plan here, remember the floor plan is at the end of the video, so if you want to take a look at that, stick around till the end. But what we're looking at today, folks, is the Landmark Flex 2LM. 2430R. This is built by Commodore Homes of Indiana and it is a three bed, two bath that sits at 1,312 square feet. The dimensions of this home 48 feet by 26 feet 8 inches. And I'm believing this home will go around $150,000 to $160,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? And home tour we go. Walking into this home, what I'm seeing is fully tape and textured home with eight foot side walls, a flat ceiling, and we have can lighting throughout. This is looking pretty good so far walking in. The size of this living room, everyone, is 17 feet, 10 inches by 12 feet, 6 inches. And hey, before we get going, do us a favor. Do me a favor. Leave us a like. That always helps out the channel, gets this video out to more people. YouTube loves to see it. And hey, if you haven't done so yet, consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell. So then that way, you'll be one of the first to see these home tours as soon as I post them. But hey, look at that jetted out wall right there by the window. I love that big window letting that natural light in. This home right here has a lot of options that you can choose from. So, you know, click on the link in the description below. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see a 3D tour, take a look at some photos. Most importantly, get some pricing directly from a retailer and see all of the different options that you can do with this house. You can put it on a basement. You can move a room around. You can add a hobby room, whatever you'd like. But hey, the size of this dining room is a nice 12 feet, 6 inches by 8 feet, 6 inches, which is more than ample space for your Thanksgiving day, for family and friends over over everything. This home so far is pretty darn nice being at 1,300 square feet. Looking at pretty good. Now, I'm not sure if you saw it or not, but over there we had uh, seating on the counter. You could seat about three to four people. This kitchen is set up really nice. I'm loving the, uh, the, the backsplash look and design there. The countertops are great. This home, as you see, comes with the stainless steel appliance package with a glass top stove. That is awesome. And we have the microwave range hood, which is great. Taking a look at the cupboards here, we have adjustable shelvings everywhere in this home looking really nice strong sturdy construction i would absolutely have to say but take a look over here even more storage for your pantry but we even have a bigger pantry we're going to take a look at in a second we have a drawer bank right there as you can see nice look style design the flooring good congolium flooring strong material over here you have a nice apron sink in your dishwasher with a pull down faucet that is looking really nice and complimentary to this home loving the accent wall in the uh, dining room as well i'm not sure if you saw that or not but i just pointed it out so take a look on the way back um, but take a look at this kitchen nice plenty of room right over there you could do a coffee bar that's pretty cool but hey you know what some of those options that's why it's called flex take a look in here we have um the butler's pantry set up in this home right here with more storage more cupboards more pantry and a space for your freezer so you know like again that is one of the options that you can choose from so take a look at that link in the description below but we have our wire shelves shelving here plenty of space plenty of room for things i mean what would you do with this area you know let me know in the comments below and also i do look like what they've done with the color change you know the kitchen design was a little lighter we've got a darker tone in here with adjustable shelving that's pretty nice i'd have to say and I'm not sure if this fridge comes with it, but you know, you can always, but see, here's some of those options. So pause, take a look at that. But again, take a look at the, um, at the floor plan at the end of the video to see some of those options. So that's pretty nice. So far, so good. I am digging the way this kitchen and uh, living rooms laid out. 
This comes with this uh, French door uh, Whirlpool fridge, you know, in this manufactured home. So that is amazing. Um, let's go back and take a look at some of the other spots in this house as we go through. We have, this is of course a three bedroom, two bath, and it's pretty spacious for, like I said, 1300 square feet. Now we're in the first guest room here, and this is the smallest room um, of the house being um, eight feet, four inches by nine feet, two inches we've got the closet right over there and we have all of the uh, materials up so everybody can take a look those are some of the options as you can see those are some of the exterior options ceramic shower options um that's the beautiful thing about manufactured housing options galore especially this home let's see if we can take a peek in here and see what we got we have a nice size there we go we have a nice size of closet here with your wire shelf plenty of storage you know room for your for your needs right there so that's looking so good so far um, and wanted to show you real quick like some of the options there and also the way you know the um, I can't think of it uh, insulation there's the word I'm thinking about how well you know the insulation is in a manufactured home and these are the same materials that they use in the manufactured home which is oh by golly that's real wood real um you know insulation and real drywall and everything is up to code and spec even more so than you'll find in a stick built home because hud and um, modular homes are are regulated so much that you're not going to get a bad home so if you want to know more about that information, check out manufacturedhomes.com. They have a plethora of blogs and things that explain a lot of that. So take a look. And as we are in the second guest room here, the size of this room is 11 feet, 10 inches by nine feet. And again, that is a pretty decent amount of room for the littles, for the guests, for, you know what I mean, anybody coming over and spending some time with you. So again, we're in the closet here, that closet, nice size appropriate amount of space for your things um, and now let's move on to the rest of the home it's looking pretty nice and let's check out the guest bath we have a nice looking vanity there with three drawers and a cupboard to the left elongated toilet there um, a nice size mirror and um, one thing I did notice about this home is all of your air and uh, air and heat are coming from the floor. Um, all the vents on top are called returns, so that just helps the airflow in the home, but everything comes from the ground. But as you see here, we've got our standard 30 by 60 shower, a wrap around, nice, beautiful little transom window letting some natural light in in the morning. That's great. Um, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And that's also a water saving toilet. So save some money on your water bill because I know mine is always expensive. So yeah, very much so. So this home is really nice. Let us know what you think about the home, what you would change about it, or if you like it at all, let us know. Now we're gonna go, of course, take a look at the primary room. The primary room here is 11 feet, four inches by 12 feet, six inches. I like what they've done with the accent wall there as well. Looking pretty nice. We've got more than ample room. I would definitely have to say. Now let's go check out the um, primary bath and see where our closet is because it's not in the bedroom. So walking in, we have the same, same style as the other restroom, but here we have dual vanities, bigger window of course, a nice window there above the toilet to let that natural light and airflow in, which is always good. We're going to spin around and take a look. We have a nice, I do believe this is a 42 inch wraparound shower, one piece, which is great. Oh, excuse me. Did I say one? Sorry, it's kind of late. This is actually not the one piece shower. This is the one piece tub. There is that option for the shower, which I was looking at right now. So sorry about that. But that is a nice big oval uh, tub there. Like I said, big window. And now let's see our uh, closet in here. Walking into the closet, we have more than apple space. Plenty of uh, storage option here with the, uh, with the wire shelf and um, space in here, which is a about, I think this is about two and a half, three feet across, about four um, long, pretty decently sized, I'd have to say, but that is the primary bath right there. Um, 
looking pretty nice this whole home in general is rather nice and we even have more more room for linen storage right there so um lots of options lots of storage lots of space and i'm loving this home and i hope you guys did too um let me know what your thoughts are on the home and overall the homes that you've seen at the 2024 louisville manufactured home show we have a few more homes coming up but pretty soon i might need to take a break and see some sunshine because all of these homes of course are indoors but thank you everybody for joining me again here on the channel it is always appreciated um, until next time remember to live smarter choose manufactured have a wonderful day and as always travel easy we'll see you next time everyone <laughs>